Okay, so I listened to a reasonable chunk of the Matt Dillahunty Jordan Peterson conversation. And it seems like the whole thing is going to be very, very good, very, very edifying to listen to. But the part I listened in on had to do with one of the things that Jordan Peterson, this is actually one of the main thrusts of, or at least a reasonably big, reasonably important thing in his worldview that he, he pushes often or talks about frequently is that a transcendent moral being or the idea of a transcendent morality, a transcendent morality is absolutely essential to the formation of Western civilization as we know it. Now, he argues that this is one of Nietzsche's main points. And I've argued a similar thing in other videos where I talk about uh, the main thrust of, of Nietzsche saying God is dead is actually to be understood as God is dead is an organizing principle of Western civilization. Not necessarily God is dead, he doesn't exist, but God is dead as, as, as a flag to rally around and that is going to produce the chaos and nihilism of the 20th century. That was actually one of the well, very major point of Nietzsche's. Now, it's the underpinning of a lot of what Jordan Peterson talks about, that religion itself and Christianity in particular, the idea of a transcendent morality is essential to Western civilization. It's essential to where we find ourselves in culture and our culture. Now, Matt Day hunt Matt Dillahunty counters with and gets these huge applause lines from, I'm assuming, the atheists in the audience, but he counters with, yeah, religion is useful. This has no bearing on the idea of whether, in fact, it's true or not. And everyone's like, woo, yeah, go Matt. <laughs> it's like, it's somewhat ironic. Yes, that's completely true what he said. Religion is potentially useful, and that doesn't mean that God exists. That's what he was saying, that's what he, that's what he intended to say, and that's what he meant. But what's ironic about it is somewhere between 85 and 90 percent of your atheist talking points, the ones that circulate around, the ones that they have shows devoted to, the ones that they usually invite you on their channels to debate and discuss, the main thrust of most of their arguments actually can be said have no bearing on whether in fact God exists or not. They're completely immaterial. Let's take some of Matt's main ones, for example. Uh, oftentimes, he will bring up in his videos and the debates that he has, the God of the Old Testament endorses slavery. And, you know, Christians valiantly take up the cross or take up the, the argument and try to counter with apologetics that justify the, justify the justifying of slavery in the Old Testament. And this is, instead, they should just counter with, so? <laughs> so what? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, okay, true enough. I give you that. Yes, the God of the Old Testament justifies or in condones slavery. And so what? You know, the, the, the underlying point in terms of does this have any bearing on whether in fact God exists or not? No, it doesn't. Most of your 85% of the atheist talking points, I would say, you could put in that camp. And they love to go on their shows and push them, you know. Um, including whether religion is good, bad, they'll tell you that for the most, a lot of atheists will tell you that for the most part, the effects of religion on society are toxic. And I mean, there is a good conversation to be had about whether, in fact, religion is a net positive for society at large or not. But again, this also has no bearing on whether, in fact, God exists. It's really easy to understand how the Old Testament justifies slavery. The people who wrote the Old Testament were a slaveholding society. If the Old Testament were written by the southern slaveholders, guess what? It would justify slavery too. That's a no-brainer. Doesn't point to God's existence or non-existence. Has no bearing on the subject one way or the other. Now, I understand the, the, the really like roundabout way he ties that into God's non-existence because if you can't trust the foundational morality of the Old Testament, you know, then... I mean, the underlying argument that the God of the Old Testament is some type of moral thug, therefore there is no God. It doesn't really work as an argument for the existence or non-existence of God at all. 
I mean, you can have a, a discussion about a discussion about the more challenging aspects of the Old Testament. And there are many parts of the Old Testament that are challenging for the theists, but they aren't challenging in terms of evidence. They, they are not challenging in terms of God's existence or non-existence. For example, what I said is a clear, is a really clearly obvious reason why the Old Testament, the God of the Old Testament, quote unquote, endorsed slavery because the people who wrote the Old Testament were slaveholders, period. Therefore, they wrote it into their moral code that God endorsed slavery. That's not hard to fathom. Now, it may make, make, make the underlying theology of some aspects of the Bible have to be worked out a little differently than maybe they are by somebody who's arguing the Bible is inerrant, but, or that God is morally perfect as completely and I mean, absolutely 100% understood by the Bible, but it doesn't have any bearing on whether God exists or doesn't exist. Matter of fact, it's completely irrelevant. Yeah, you might have to switch a little of standard Christianity. You might have to do a little, a little theological work on how you reconcile that to the totality of, of Christian thought. But it's really, really obvious that that's, or at least it's, fairly obvious that that's why it's there and it has zero bearing on whether in fact God exists or doesn't exist zero it's completely irrelevant to the to what is supposed to be the most of the debate between an atheist and a Christian it's not evidence against God it's not evidence that he is it's not it's not even close so that's the irony of that particular thing and then there's there's more to be said on the subject but that's enough for now